Do you like seeing two of you? No, I think it's very awkward. It's <laughs> remarkably uncomfortable to see the the two of my spots. I figured you'd love yourself so much. All right. I'd love to see it twice. Uh, Jim, I can hear that you're on, but I can't see you. Oh, boy. Is this a bit? We're still. Jim, are you doing a bit? <laughs> Uh -oh. No. Now I'm trying from the browser. I figured I would try that. Maybe it was the app that was the problem, but I don't know. Can you hear me at all? How's mm -hmm. this going? We, now we can hear you. Are you lagging with us? Can you hear us okay? Yeah, no, I oh, hear you good. Perfect. So, okay, we're good to go right. then. We got that part down. This yep, is good. We're good. All right, Jim, uh, why, I'll just get out of your way here. What the hell? We watched uh, The Wet Spot last night. We were thoroughly entertained. We thought it was a great episode. Uh, it, it seemed though that there was a problem with you and ski mask from jump street. It seemed like this, you know, there were calls coming in and you know, there was fighting going on and it, it all, it kind of, it started aggressive. It stayed aggressive. And then you ended up, uh, storming off the show. Explain to us what happened. Cause it seems to be a miscommunication. There are miscommunications in it. But first, I want to say thanks for allowing me on here uh, to tell my side on a show that gets way more views than Gino Piscante's show, and it's not behind a paywall. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a fr I'm a friend so of Gino, but you. thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Uh, we love to I'm have sure, you. And look, I, I, I do have a few bad things to say about Gino now because he's gone on the attack on me personally. Now, first off, I'm in here under the name Jim, but I'm talking to you as John. That's the guy who created Jim. I'm a writer. Let's start there. Okay. I, cre I create things. I've published books. You can get my books at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, www.consumeourproducts.com. Um, and I've also been – there's a lot of things. We won't go through my whole history, but I, I, I'm, I guarantee you, you'd be pretty impressed, pretty, pretty impressed. All right. But anywho – um. Oh, I'm I again. It's the audience. You're this is a bigger show. I wasn't nervous on those shows. Oh, Feet on okay. the desk. Don't here. No, no, don't no, be no. nervous I'm, here. I'm, I'm nervous. You're just, you're don't just be talking nervous. to so us nervous. too. You're just don't, talking don't, to us. Don't be nervous because honestly, uh, we we just want to talk about your side of things of what happened last yeah. night. It was wildly entertaining. You guys did a great job, but it does kind of seem like uh, you kind of seem to be the odd man out in this whole thing, according to everyone else who was there. So we just kind of wanted to get your side yeah. of it. So what what happened last night? We just lost your video. I stopped my video hoping that it'll make the audio better. Is this all right? You sound great, yeah. Okay. This was not just a setup against me, but it was a setup against Chrissy Mayer and all of Compound Media. I'm just now learning that Ski Mask is even claiming he has no idea of this bit or anything like that. Is this true? I heard it on your show. Yeah, I think I think uh, Ski Mask's whole take on it, he called in this morning and said, nope, uh, Jim Grindle was lying. Uh, there was no, we didn't set anything up. He showed me his phone and said, hey, let's do this fake feud. And I said, mm. no, we're not going to do that. that that's kind of his take on the whole deal. Right. He said a, a guy, a, a fan or whatever, a guy from my show, Brandon, used to be on the show, new guy. He said that... Um, I, I was showing him something like, let's do this beef. In fact, it's the exact opposite. And I can prove it, by the way. Everything I'm about to tell you, I have receipts for. So in the meantime, while I'm talking, if you'd like me to drop my receipts on Twitter, I don't know if, if you if you could show them or not, but I can drop you. I, I have, sure uh, could. It, any evidence you have, we are more than willing to show. We, are, we, we You're getting a fair day in court today. Yes. All right. I'll begin dropping them now. Oh, I'm so glad I shut my video off. What a stupid, stupid looking face. <laughs> oh, this is All fine. Right. So now I don't know if I should call you John or Jim, but either way, uh, people, the show last night, it was Jim, Jim for Grindle. now, but just uh, just know that I'm not doing the character. I hurt right. my voice. That's why it's out. I don't speak like that. Spoiler, no humans do. So explain to me, um, explain to me the difference between the guy and the character, because that's where I'm con like, as, a, right. as a viewer, I'm confused because you kept saying you were doing a bit. This Jim, there's John, there's this. I, I don't I don't get it. Yeah. All right. Very simple. Like when um, and I don't want to say naughty, naughty words, but when uh, like, let's say Robert Downey Jr. Uh, goes full R word, he's not actually an R person. Um, with me, a lot of it is a copy of Brody Bruce, like in my delivery, like I'll start slow Brody Bruce from Mallrats. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go slow and like 
you're giving an intelligent diatribe, and then at the end, you bring it up like this uh, in this silly way. Also mixed with a bit of Bruce McCullough and the whininess. Again, this okay. is why you're going you're gonna to get the... My voice is fucked from last night. Um, it's a character, man. I write. I perform. I've been performing for years and years, and I know he's your friend, but Gino Bisconte chooses to come after a show with 30 views. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna just keep this part really, really short. I know you want to know about the other stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he went after us today, and after me personally, after it's being said it was a bit, on Chrissy Mayer's show, they begin by talking about Tony Clifton and their love for him, which, 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 which was just them going, the effing Jews, the effing Jews. Why did I, I meant to censor Jews. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and not really expounding their love. And then ending with, I don't get, is this a bit? It's not a bit. Is it a bit? Garrett on In Hot Water today admitted when I walked off for water. Yeah. It's because I crawled into the booth and I was like, bro, what the fuck's going on here? Because this was clearly discussed prior and now they're all acting like it's real. Like, should I go hard into it? Both Garrett and Drew didn't go, yeah, sure. No, no, no. They fully engaged it and they're like, no, no, yeah, this is great. Okay. Are you sure this is good? No, this is good. Get in there. First, they said, that's between me and you. And I'm like, I know, I know, but like, it seems that they're, that, that they're turning this real. Like it's this feeling like it's turning real. And that's, and I said, should I go? And yep, you're doing great. This is great. All right. All right. So as I understand it, just so I can keep up, you talk to the booth guys, Garrett and those guys, and you're like, Hey, you, you stepped out for a little bit when you came back in, you're like, should I keep this up? Should I keep going? And they're like, yeah, you're great. Mm-hmm. Now they want to stir it up. They want, it's been an interesting show. Garrett's been around radio enough to know what's good. So he encourages it was now here's sure. the, here's the big linchpin of this whole thing. As the host of a show, I can understand if someone's doing a bit or a character and they didn't tell me first, I, I that would annoy me a little bit. So yep. did Chrissy know Absolutely. this? Did Chrissy know this was going to happen? Absolutely. 100%. And uh, that also I have receipts for. Um, First off, the last time I was there, we had a conversation prior to going on where she gave me the usual speech one gives. Ah, you're going to do great today. Uh, You know, just be yourself and it'll be great. And I said, actually, that brings up the great point. Uh, You know, Jim Grindle, again, there I introduced myself as John, always saying Jim's a character. Um, Sure. Jim Grindle as a character is very extreme. I don't think Jim fits the wet spot. This is what I said to her face in that Sullivan's bar on my last appearance there. And I said, I'd prefer to come in as myself, but, you know, a little like little Jim quirks, but I just, I don't know what you booked. Do you want Jim or whatever? Yeah. Uh, and she goes, oh, if you're a character, give it a 10. Marshall Beaupre then stepped okay. in because he knows the character. He watches the character. Uh and says, no, start at a five. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Work your way up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and then it was also discussed prior to this show. Um, when we were inside the front area of Compound Media, I went off. Uh, Kumia was in the bathroom. And uh, I had to wait for him to get out to go change the dressing room next to a man pooping. And I think it was a man you don't know in these bathrooms anymore. And... Uh, I, I, I changed, and I came back in. I only changed my shirt. There was nowhere to do anything else, so I went back in, and I had bought a silly little windbreaker, and I was ripping the tag off. I'm getting it. I'm like, yep, time to get my costume on. Jim Stansel's slicking back his hair, putting on his shirt. Jim, did anybody goes, know too. what the fuck was going on was my question. <laughs> yes, no, clearly. This is what I'm telling you. Like, But, d- like, did, when, during, Chris, when you said give it a five, you know, it was it explicitly 10. stated. Right, when I'm you said give it a five, you. give it a ten, did Chrissy know what that meant, what that entailed? Well, I'm, I I don't – yes, I told okay. her that it's a very aggressive character, and I don't think it fits on Wet Spot. But okay. I'm not sure which you booked. I don't know how aware of me you are. That was our previous conversation. But you're saying when you let her know that you're a character, she said go for it, right? She said go full okay. 10. Bo Prey okay. said go five. I said good idea, okay. and I went five. And so now do you, so do you really – so if this was the character Jim – do, does the guy mm-hmm. behind the character dislike Ski Mask and just dislikes Jim Stansel? Because if you don't, and it's just the character, like, you did a really good sales job on us believing that you don't like those fucking guys because you, really, you were going hard. I had no problem with them. I don't even know them. I've honestly never seen their show except for clips of them saying things about us. 
and uh, when one of my guys was on their show. They've only been on our show. I had no problems, but we did have until we had a beef, which I sent you here. And, uh, yeah, it's loading right now into your Twitter. I, I think you'll enjoy this uh, when it gets to you. It's, it's, a, it's a very short video, which will show you where our beef came from. All right. And then we were done. We didn't talk for a while. And then at some point, we just made up. Uh, months pass. We're like, hey, let's let's combine our forces again and do more beefs, which, again, those are in the other receipts I show you. Well, okay. we clearly, clearly discuss our end. All but right. further, to, does Chrissy know, just to finish on yesterday's show, when we're getting ready and we're all showing our costumes, that's when it was discussed that these are characters. I, w I had walked with Ski Mask to buy the Paul Masson uh, because I didn't want to do it. I said I did not want to do the beef, but if that's what we're doing here, that's what we're doing here. All right, um, let's let let me read Chrissy heard let it. me read some of your evidence here. I think we've we kind of got it. I'm still a little bit confused, but I think I understand. I, here's what I All think. Right. I think you told them that you know I'll do this character, so on and so forth. I don't think they totally knew what that entailed, and I could tell right away almost. Ski mask doesn't like you. Uh, Ski Mask. No, it, well, that's the only true yeah. thing. That was that's so, the only correct part of the statement. Ski Mask sure. doesn't like you, and I don't think Chrissy knew what you know go with the character really meant. Uh, and because because she seemed truly taken aback by what was going on. So let me read the stuff you've sent me. Then I've got some stuff that Gino just texted me. Uh, and oh, we'll, stuff about Gino too, your good friend. So let me just tell you that <laughs> a lot of stuff. Well, look, I look, I am, oh. I am friends with Gino Bisconte, and I will tell you, it is an exercise in exhaustion keeping up with all the people who have a problem with Gino that I don't have a problem with. So it is, I understand it comes with the territory of being friends with Gino that I, I you know, people say I fucking hate Gino, and I got to make sure I'm an honest guy, and I go. Well, I like Gino. He's a friend of mine. I, I'm sure you two probably piss each other off, but I, you know, I, I can't jump into it. You know, we've never had a problem. Um, so here are here's well, then I, this is you real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to say here's a save to your friendship with Gino. Here's my peace offering is because uh, he's so easy to manipulate. Apparently, you all, you. I'm surprised if you don't get in trouble just for having me on. I, I, well, judging by the text I'm getting from Gino, it doesn't seem to be a problem, but I'll read you all that. I want to read your stuff first good, that good. you sent me. Uh, this is Jim uh, Grindle's stuff that he sent to uh, Ski Mask. He said, uh, hello, Mr. Mask, and this is, at, this is in the afternoon. Oh, this is April. Yeah, this is the most recent after our one small beef. I really highly suggest you watch that beef video. It's but it's it's hilarious, is, starring Damian J. Like, Rogers. But this is all from like April and March and all this other shit. I I'm wondering about right because we have no communication until currently. But this is I am giving you all that I have. What I have currently is proving they lied about no beef setup. That's that's number one picture number one. Yeah, but um, that's it's, and number that's, two. That's I eight believe. months ago. No, no, that's yesterday. Picture number one and two. These say April oh, 3rd. Oh, 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 they're not coming labeled to you. Oh, I here we go. Yesterday. Ha, ha, ha. So who's Brandon? This guy gets it. Okay. So Brandon is the guy that – what Ski Mask told you earlier was a lie, and that's, the, that's what this proof is. He said – I told him this guy – uh, whatever, I'm showing him shit. That's shit on my phone. That's not what happened. He showed me shit on his phone and goes, look at this. Your guy Brandon is sending me a clip so that we're going to fuck with you tonight. And I said, oh, boy, that fucking guy. That's great. We're laughing. We're having a beer. So, so what I do there is I send Brandon. I, if you see, it says whatever it says. Ha, 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 nice one, buddy. And I show him the two beers. That's my beer and Ski Mask's beer. Sure. That was at the time it is, 6.01 or something. Okay, I see. And he goes, ah, wrestling's fun. Then, right after that, Ski Mask puts his mask between it, and I tweet at 6.15 before the show. Uh, thing, And this was his words. Things are going to get, things might get beefy tonight, and I added in, that means there will be cocks. So we did a joint tweet from my account saying there was going to be beef, and he's claiming he doesn't know it's a work. It, this is not that I, case. This was a sandbagging okay. of Chrissy okay. using me as a catalyst. What would it have been difficult? Let me just throw in an alternate scenario at you. Would it have been mm. that hard to just go on the show and be funny? <laughs> like, would, it, would it have been but, like this seems like a lot of 
preening no. and posturing and prepping. That wouldn't have been like, hard at all. It sounds like you were Andy Kaufmaning, kind of hijacking a show in a weird way. No, no. One can't hijack a show, number one. Uh, a host does not allow one to hijack a show. It's as simple as that. I, if, if you watch the beginning, I didn't want to do the character. I didn't want to do the beef, but I still came in there, and I was being all friendly with everyone, and I was trying so hard to make sure that they don't twist it to the beef. Watch. Go watch the show. See who I did, does I the did. first jabs. I, I did watch it yesterday, and it did seem like – it, it was kind of, and I hate to use this term, it's overdone, but it does seem like, it, it, like in a stuttering John way, they threw out a small jab, and you did kind of fucking unload on those guys with both barrels, and then you ended up unloading on Chrissy. It's, it does seem like maybe you're oh, really good. I said you three jerk-offs. Well, yeah. well and I think cunts, I think you called them cunts at one point. Yeah, but that's the character. You I, say, I wear a stupid scarf, you wear the, you, 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 dress, you dress like an idiot, and sure. you look stupid, and then you try to say something articulate while going, cunt, dumb, fuck, nerd. <laughs> like, it, but did you not read the room? It as, didn't it seem like Chrissy. But this it didn't look. look if I'm, you don't like the character, that's one thing. Look, but it was explained. I, I, so under, this is, I understand. This is not okay. I understand. I enjoyed the show. You're talking to someone who was a fan of the show. I thought I was very entertained by it. But I don't Thank think. Thank you. I'm, uh, then you but, got it. But I don't think it's fully honest to say that, well, everyone was in the know and they totally knew the extent of what was going to happen. I don't think they did. Well. Show me otherwise, because again, I'm showing you not just Ski Mask and I discussing the work one hour before the show. But it's all the it only says. Thing I all can't it says show here is our conversation. Right. All it. Well, that's kind uh, of uh, important. But I can it says here, "Hey, pro wrestling isn't cool, man. Ask Gino." Which I think there was a Gino. Slam yeah, that's yeah. Brandon. That's Brandon because he's the one who sent Ski Mask the shit talking video from our show. When we made the simple comment, I was like, this is ridiculous when Gino says he loves Ski Mask because they don't want attention or money. Their entire show is a merch plug, and everybody on a microphone wants attention and money. Right. You need money to create the art. You create the art for the attention. Okay. It's a point I've been pushing. I, I want to read you. I wish that Gino or Ski Mask or somebody would come on and we could have this back and forth because I, I just watched the show. I still Ski Mask is back there. I see him. Oh, is he really? Is Ski Mask here? Are we holding out on someone? Oh, shit. Oh, Ski Let, let's bring up Ski Mask. First, I want to read what Gino sent me. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, no, not here. We go. We want to put Zoom up there. All right, we're going to bring Ski Mask in in just a second. Uh, first, I want to read what Gino sent me, Jim, and then you can respond to this. Um, it starts sure off, I, I don't think it's going to start off very friendly. Uh, it starts off, this guy's nuts, smiley face emoji, so there is that. Uh, thanks for the offer, but I have nothing to say to him. Also, I've been watching all night. You guys are great. Oh, that's very sweet of you. I just Thank have nothing you. to say to Bob. He's losing his mind. Well, I, look, Gino, I'm friends with both of you. I don't think Bob's losing his mind. You guys have a problem with each other. Uh, I don't even know what set him off. The only thing I attacked is how ungrateful he was to Chrissy. You can watch my show today. If you didn't, that's all it was. But I'm enjoying watching this insanity. Also, I'm watching you read this on the air. Giggling. Now I'm giggling. God, we're gay. <laughs> Tell George Carlin slash Kaufman I sincerely apologize. That's uh, that's from Gino Bisconte. Great. Now I can't say my next line where he said he said he's a god. He's not a god. Bitch, you're not a god. You're not even a dog. You're a rat. Like I had all this stuff written down. It's a fucking performance. I'll show you the script. All right. I mean. I don't hate Gino. I really do enjoy him. I see him being abused by Kevin Brennan's boys. I really do see that, and I have receipts for that as well. But I thought, long, you, said you, but wait, I thought you said you don't. Wait, I thought you said don't. I thought you said you don't like Gino. Today, because we did, about, he said naughty things about me. Okay, scheme. That's my man. first time meeting Gino. I, I disagree with some things he says. Oh. I don't like that he calls himself daddy. That creeps me out. <laughs> I fucking wa I have nothing but in hot water merch around me. I fucking watched the show for years. I constantly know. huge fan. I disagree with him going into the fandom, yelling at fans Ski on Discord over their opinions. I mean, I believe he should stay on his stage and leave the peons alone. But that's my opinion. All right, Ski, I have opinions. Let's, let's bring our buddy Ski Mask in here. Ski Mask, make sense of this for me. You've heard what Jim has to say. Uh, w would would you like to retort? Please. Make sense. Yeah, good luck with unfortunately, that. I did. Sorry, I'm on a cell phone now. But uh, you know, Jim, stop rambling. It, it's ridiculous. The rambling. You're not 
So any, anything, I just sat here listening to the first 10 minutes and nothing you said mm-hmm. has even tried to be funny. You said I got no, the No, because this show isn't a joke. I'm not here to tell a joke receipts. right now. Show the receipts. All you do is talk over. I did show the receipts. He's not pulling and them up. There's a nothing. whole video. They're all from, why, they're all why from do we March have a beach and April. Mask? There's one from yesterday that says pro wrestling is gay. Ask Gino. The no, rest no, no. Of it's from like a year There's ago. There's the other. What Ski Mask that? told you yeah. today. Be, what don't you understand about the receipt? You told him today that you had no clue. There was no work and I'm making it up and that I showed you something on my anymore. phone. We were having a beer at the bar. Being bullied. No. Going in to make no, the you said I showed you something on my phone and I was trying to start a beef and you no, said I you said didn't I want it. I your phone. I said I looked at your phone. I didn't never say that you showed you me, showed me your, your phone, phone, phone and tried to, to say this, this is what we're going to do. It's on Steel Toe showed... Morning Show. Go back, you fucking liar. Okay, now let me respond. Here's your you showed. You can I respond? And then you can't stop gonna be all, right, here. all right, break, break. I'm going to be referee now. All right, boys, break. Jim, quick retort, ski mask, then back to you. My response is that was your claim that I showed you my phone. You showed me your phone and said, this is a video that I'm going to use to start a beef with you tonight. And that's when I told you, I don't want to, but if we've got to, we've got to. And then I wrote to Brandon, that's the text you're looking at, um, Aaron, where it says... Uh, ha 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 nice one because the message that ski mask showed me was from brandon on his phone that is proof that he lied to you earlier that's step one of the proof i, I don't see how okay ski mask go ahead your retort uh when i called into the show earlier today you remember when i told you guys i happened to look at his phone while he was sitting to the left of me at the bar and I could, I could tell that he was already building stuff up. Why do you think there were so Bandit many calls? Oh, and then eat my ass off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stop being <laughs> something that Jim sent me. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ski Mask. I was trying to go through his messages that he sent me, but I can't find anything that's, like, recent. It's all from March and April. But I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ski Nothing Mask. that makes any sense. I mean, nothing about this makes any sense, and that's what's pissing me off the most is, is people think this was a retort. Or, or so, look, I, I drove, I got all the way into the fucking city after a long day of work just to try to do some funnies, and then it just turned into a fucking headache. <laughs> and I've been dealing with it all day today, too. Yeah, you know, Jim, it, Jim, I'm going to be ridiculous. honest. Jim, I'm going to be honest with you. I, it do, there's still pieces missing to me. It do, Your story's not making sense with me sure. right now. I'm not getting it. And I could be Which done. parts? I mean, look, I, it, it doesn't seem like these... I mean, I don't think these guys are lying right to your face and saying... And just leaving you out hmm. to dry. I think you probably thought you communicated something with them, but not as well as maybe you no. thought you did. And then no. it, the Wrong. whole thing kind of got away from everyone. He just told you it didn't happen, dude. That's literally... Oh, my God. Oh, I never wanted to do this bit with them. They literally... <laughs> they are the ones who wanted to do this bit. It was discussed prior there are so many cues during the thing where I don't want to do it. Hey, hey, Even Jim, when I'm she's asking, say, watch the, wait, watch the wait, sunglasses wait, wait, go up when she like, says, see, we'll you're interrupting and talking over, ski but you're not respecting you Aaron's show. Right, Jim, go oh, ahead. Yeah, watch when the more. sunglasses go up in the middle when Christy's asking, is this a bit or not? Numerous times. I winked right at her. The sunglasses went up. I winked at her. You, when you're performing, you're not trying to <laughs> spill the soup, so to speak. That was during the show. I know it sounds silly, but you're, like, disregarding the fact that it was talked about. Contact Marshall Beaupre, who was there last time it was talked about. Look at the other receipt where I'm don't talking need about it with Frank show. Pellegrino, sorry, her brother. Sorry, Grandpa, Look at the other talk. receipt right. where I'm talking wrong, about right. it being a bit right. with Frank but Pellegrino, again, time, her booker. I, I got to call time out here because, again, <laughs> I have to say, Jim, all you've sent me is stuff from months ago, and I don't expect Chrissy, I know. You keep saying that, Aaron. I know. Well, that fucking matters because I don't expect <laughs> Chrissy. It's I don't That is irrelevant. That is irrelevant. It's a history of... Of ski mask. The time, okay, sp- the time space continuum <laughs> does exist, and it mm-hmm. matters in this in this yeah. case. I think Chrissy yeah. is very busy. I don't think she remembers something Frank told her two months ago no, about I understand. what you're going to do on her show. So I think she We're was. We're talking caught- two different things. The pictures have nothing to do with Chrissy. The pictures have to do with ski mask and the history of him. Everything you see in those pictures is him. Proof that he is trying to do a bit, and me saying it says it in the messages. Not interested, but I'll do it. Many messages, history, months and months of it, including a hilarious video about why we had a beef originally 
And then that's one issue. The Christy Mayer thing is a different story. There is no evidence to the Christy Mayer issue beyond right. Marshall Beaupre. Marshall Beaupre, you all know his name, who last time stood right but there it, it, and listened. Oh, there is one piece of evidence in the messages. Me telling Frank 100% that this is a bit. We're discussing it. I sent you that. Then you have Marshall Beaupre. You want to call him the witness? with the whole 10 or 5 yeah, thing. That's today. the best right. I can call, give you for things Jim, that happen behind the scenes. Jim, Jim, this sounds like way too complicated for a fucking compound media podcast. It, no, it sounds complicated because, no, you know, he doesn't try to make fun. How a game works. But I, I'm not here for a funny, joke, though. Steve Ask. Well, it was okay. a comedy. You were on a comedy show, asshole? though. Is that what you did last night? No, I was there to be asshole? funny. Again, you have months of messages with me telling him I don't want to beef with him. I'm not interested. Blah, 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 blah. You bored me with your fucking life story talking about movies with Stevie Lou. Hashtag Stevie Lou's uh, sad chat. But, dude, you're, you're fucking. What'd you do? Just show up, drove two and a half hours to be an asshole? Is that what happened? And, and now that is not at all what happened. It? And so you did nope. a show this morning on your show? And now you're it's still he gets to talk in uninterrupted because constantly. Because you were a fucking asshole last night? Because you don't know how to make a fucking What joke? are you even saying? What you know are what you even saying? Oh, you know what First I'm saying. First off, how can you say you're you can't make a joke? Douche. Comedy is the subjective, same. number one. Number the two, same. there's countless messages on Twitter who loved it. See, this is all he says. You stink. You stink on ice. You suck. No, I'm going to fuck you. You guys you literally threatened to right, 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 I'm right, fucking right, right, I was threatened right, to right, right, violence by fucking Jim Stansel and this piece of shit. And then I'm the hostile one. But why am I upset about it? I went to, yes, I drove two and a half hours w clearly telling people to be an asshole. Clearly, fuck your mouth, ski mask. <laughs> you drove two and a half hours to be a fucking asshole. Then be threatened to be assaulted at Compound Media and then asked why I'm hostile. Because you stink. That's the best you got. That is, I mean, no, so here, here's what I'm gathering. Here's, That's the best you got. Here's what I'm gathering so far. Jim says that you were all in on Jim uh, doing a character. Ski Mask says that is not true, that you may be thought that but that's not what was agreed upon ski, and and evidence. Ski mask, you're, you're uh, coming at my evidence where's anything from him and scheme well I, i'm in fairness you're giving me a lot of evidence from months ago that says hey man it's a funny bit hey man it's a great work like the thing you're doing and yeah, ski mask and ski mask saying uh yeah those these fights can be great and it was nice to work with someone who gets it's a bit i know that's me that's me oh that's you i'm sorry yeah. i think it's pretty clear I have no intentions of putting myself inside of you. Uh, and then Ski Mask said, ha, 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 it's a bit. That's the point. I'll do your guys' show anytime I'm available and if you want me on. But yes, I can honestly say I have never watched a podcast unless a fight was involved, audio only. It allows you to think the image, which is a beautiful thing. But now, it, I don't know how that plays to last night because, again, this was, this was nine months ago. No, no, that is the, it's not just nine months ago because there's messages like this leading all the way up. I don't, until I don't have, I don't have, have those, yeah, I, but I don't have those messages. I only have ones from nine months ago. No. Then why you is know, he not all of them that was nine months ago. Again, I have dates on them. If if that you know shows you history. Have them. Does he have them? That the shows you up. history combined with everything else. You stink. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, Ski Mask thinks Ski, ski Mask. Yeah, that's so stink. funny. That's stink. funny, though, right? Where that's, was the fucking mouth shit last night? No, you're pissing me off. I mean, it, you're pissing me off because you can't prove a point, and you're ruining my time. I got the show. Okay, made. then leave. I just Hang up. It on Netflix. I, I really want to go watch it with my lady, and I'm, I'm coming go in watch here it. to fucking try to fucking talk to you. And I bet it's a real good show. What's the show called? Made. It's M A I D. It's fucking. It's pretty good. I'm on every. <laughs> it sounds four. really good. It's a show about it a is, podcast really that goes off the fucking you. rails. <laughs> no kidding. All right, ski mask. I'm gonna let you get back to your thing, Jim. I'm gonna say this. No, no, no. I'll say. Oh, I'll you'll say. Okay. All right, canceled. Jim. I'm gonna yeah. say this. I don't get it. I'm looking at the text and everything else. Unless you're missing something, none of this establishes that what you guys were doing yesterday I'm was sure we're missing upon. something because there's a lot, Aaron. But there's it's but it's lot. March and April and I'm, if I'm a judge, I'm not just saying that. Any, just that. I, That's the part okay, about history. Jim, what about the Beaupre stuff? But, what about the Frank message Jim, literally talking about this being a character? Hey, That's hey, Chrissy's hey, Jim, book. Hey, Grindle, but again, hey, Grindle, just, oh, just shut like up, Ski Mass. Like Grindle, Grindle. 
Just like yeah. you know, have a show. Stir it out, baby. Marshall, Marshall and Frank. Also, you in, are you in heroin right now? Can you let let ski don't mask drag go. guys like that in? Don't, did, did anybody hear that? Don't yeah, drag don't, those guys don't in. drag those guys in. No, you're dragging them in, and then Gino you, you talking his shit is creating this drunk? incident. Are you drunk? Are you on drugs? No, is you making your thing? little lie and your little scam against Compound, you and your little Brennan boy scam against Compound, you're doing all of this. Uh, I, I actually texted Frank this morning. And I've got a okay, whole, whole lot more. And it will be coming out in my shows, don't worry. I all just right. gave you What's a little so, bit to begin the conversation, Aaron. All right, well, I appreciate that. I want to I bring on the big gun for a second. I, I, got, I, got, I got someone who maybe has something to say about all this. Uh, Gino Bisconte, your thoughts on this whole thing oh, that's going down go. on Steel Toe right now? Should, should I come into this call as a three, or, <laughs> or should I come in as a seven? <laughs> seven. Gino, Gino, what it's the... ridiculous. Gino. What is, is the point of this entire call when he gets to the end of it for us to say, oh, you didn't suck a giant dick on the wet spot last night. We didn't realize all the receipts. That were included. There was I don't no understand. show, Gino. It was sabotaged by Ski Mask from the beginning. It Where's his funny. evidence it, of it, anything it, he's saying? I would think it's either funny or it's not. It's either a, a podcast is either funny or it's this one, Aaron. I'm kidding. This is fucking gold. <laughs> I was dying. A podcast is either funny and we're laughing like this. This is a very good podcast. Or it's not. Uh, no, and, Gino, and, you and, think and, and, about Pat Dixon for six months is funny. I know, Gino. It has hey, nothing to do great. with what we're talking about. Again, again. You, you it, a comedy which you is subjective and what's funny and what's not. Back. You don't go back and say, I'm going to make the podcast I did last night funny by calling into Steel Toe and explaining I came in at the four and Marshall Beaupre, who 99% of the people, if you're not sure where you heard the name Marshall Beaupre before, it was three you minutes ago, the first thing next to you said, who the fuck is Marshall Beaupre? And, 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 and you're just trying How to make us believe like that idiot. what we watched last night wasn't awful, and it was awful. You lost your mind, and now you're trying to say yeah. it was funny, and it yeah. was what it was, then you move on. Yeah, oh, it was yeah, all exactly. no, right. Right. All right, no, no, no. Time, everyone, everyone, time out. Here, everyone, time out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Jim first, then we're going to go Ski Mask, and then we're going to let Gino go again. Jim, Jim go ahead. Jim, come in. Jim, come in yes. as a six, yes, but Gino. as an eight and a half. All right, go Gino. ahead, Jim. Yes, Gino. It was, uh, look, Gene, I'm not here doing a bit right now. I'm here just being fucking annoyed. I'm confused when it's a bit uh, and when it's not. When the fuck is it a bit? I said, I said when I came in here, I'm not doing a bit. I'm not okay. here making jokes. I'm here simply to give my side point. of the story. All right, so, it, here it is. So, Jim, go ahead. I'm, yeah, know, I'm still. All you're doing is go. Uh, uh, Jim, I'm still confused. Go ahead, respond to Gino. Then I'm gonna let Ski Mask go. Then I'm gonna let Gino go. Then I'm gonna fucking blow my. <laughs> Gino, yes, the show was bad last night. That's the point no, that I'm bad. trying no, to Gino, let it go. Don't say the show great, was great, bad. Great, yes, the great. Was I was bad. Okay. Gino, let great. it go. I was bad, Gino. Great. You want that? You want that's because that's what you like to do. You just want people to serve you. Okay, Gino, Daddy. I was bad. Okay. But when I was on the show, the reason it was bad is because it was discussed with Chrissy with ski mask. I have shown messages. I have the messages where we're talking about it and many more to show as well as messages of you abusing fucking fans, Gino. Countless messages of how you treat your fucking fans, you vile. What does this have to do with anything? Oh my God. What does the Jim? Jim, what does this have to do with what I brought you on here? Fucking drifters in a free speech fucking network doing nothing but suppressing free speech. Jim, They're liars Jim, and frauds. Jim, I brought you on to talk about the wet spot, and it sounds like you're using my show to settle old scores. We just wanted to know what yeah, happened last night. Just, it's all about the wet spot. It's all about this. <laughs> all right. Uh, How ski is that not about the wet spot? Ski Mask wants to uh, watch a movie with his girl, so I want to yes. make it worth his time to come in here. Uh, ski uh, Mask, what, what do you have to do with the Dude, all? I am all the time in the world after hearing that. Rant. I all mean, right. God damn. Um, I mean... Can you not believe that the guy couldn't prove his point last night, so he had to come in here tonight? He ha clearly hasn't slept because he did his show this morning. It's 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 clearly just getting to the point of being embarrassing. And I'm just trying to make yeah. I'm trying to make fun. You know, of I was 
ask to like, come here. I didn't ask up. to you come here. No, shut because you're telling up. another lie. I didn't ask to come here. I was asked no, 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 to come here. No, no, no. I asked him to come you here. You, no, I asked you to come here. I you did. are a guest. You're but... disrespecting the host. <laughs> shut the fuck up, you fucking You're just insult. disrespecting the host, you fucking You're bad. such a hack. He said what was going to happen. Like your master, Kevin well, Brennan, you're a the hack. the sun shines bright in my old time. Gino, oh, keep sticking up for Kevin's boys, you fucking moron. That was me. What did you do anything? All right. All right. Next time so, you're in the city, I'll actually slap you on Kevin Brennan, All right. Right. but you ran I'll away to the bathroom, you. and then I saw you fucking hiding your tiny little fucking peanut dick. In the fucking bathroom. Wait, wait, wait time out. First. Hold on, boys. Boys, boys, calm down. I, I need to settle one thing. Who has the peanut dick? Yeah. yeah. Ski mask. Oh, ski mask. That's why I met him, him first. All right. Not, now, the Jim. Bathroom of substance. He saw Jim? me in the street. He Are we saying into it the looks bathroom. like a peanut or, or tastes like Jim? a peanut? Because I'm confused now. Jim, I have to, Jim, no, I have to say. it tasted like your asshole, Gino. Oh, well, okay, okay so, yeah. so far, if, if I may, boys, if I may, boys, so far, so far we have Alex. Hey, April. hey, did April ask about me? Tell April I said hi. Did April ask about hey, me? Hey, buddy. April's here. Is. April's here. She doesn't like all this right masculine here. fighting. I'm, I'm just taking it all in. So, the, so far, let me, let me try to organize this now. <laughs> So okay. far, because Jim, no offense, you seem a little all over the place on me, if I, if I may overstate things a little bit. Uh, so far, we have accusations that mm -hmm. Ski Mask and Jim Stansel are working compound media. We have accusations no, that gotta... they have accusations that they were all in on it. Uh, we have accusations of small penises and anal sex between Ski Mask and Gino Bisconte. Peanut. Uh, but I, I have about and the, it between I, Ski I Mask have, and myself. You left that out. And, Dude, and it's be sex glad, between. I'll be glad to show my hard cock on the fucking studio. <laughs> there. Let's not show any hard cocks. Jesus Christ. All right. Jim. I have no problem with that because I know I have a big no, cock. No, no cocks, please. I don't need any cocks tonight. We'll the last thing I need is a cock. All right, so Jim, disagree. Jim, here's what I think. I, I'm a fucking kindergarten teacher. All right, uh, Jim, here's what I think about the whole thing. You're not selling me on the fact that everyone was in on it. I think you had a lofty, highbrow idea of what you wanted to pull off, and I don't think Wrong. it went the way it was supposed to. That's just what I'm reading through these texts. Wrong. I don't see any evidence well, there. Well, show me your evidence. Show me your evidence. I watched the you fucking the thing. Of people, when you see the history of people talking about this bit, number one, you're, see, you're like, oh, Jim, you're showing me months of you guys talking what, about a bit, what, and then you're showing me a about? tweet where you guys are talking about the beef bit, but but I just don't think you're showing me anything. That's what you're, you're not, saying. You right showed now, me Aaron. stuff from almost a year oh, ago man. that has nothing to do with Monday night's show. We just wanted last night. Uh, that was it. Yeah, I'm talking about well, last night. I gave you that as well. Ignore the other stuff then. Forget it. Bad. It's just in addition to the bad. one thing from last night. Jim, it but does. That's what you're Jim. saying. Jim, you showed me one thing from last night, and then you also added a bunch of other things. They were there just in case you wanted them, bud. I didn't Jim, expect you to pull them off or just go and read it at random. I, I'm reading them. The only one that mattered was the beer one. The beer one clearly but shows with was... timestamps and all that he's lying but to you. But it just shows that you guys were in the physical same place at the same time. No, There's no discussion the next of it. one has the tweet. With, look at my tweet where his ski mask is up and we've posted things might get beefy. And that tweet came after that. I... And he said that I showed him my phone about something no he showed Jim, you me the fucking Derek looney tune i don't have that it's one it's not there it's really okay, not I, no no you're right. I, that was not sure i meant to send you a link for that one but it's on my twitter if you check my twitter it's right there you'll see his mask it's the only picture with his mask all right gino go yeah, ahead prove it uh, but prove that i said that things are gonna get beepy prove it all right you did it's on my twitter right now okay gino go ahead you ever seen this thing on Netflix called Made? It's pretty good. And no, I, but I've I seen did. I've seen Making Dude, a Murderer, and I feel like I'm about to be a part of it. Awesome. That's what I'm watching now. I'm no, four. you don't say. That's pretty good stuff. By the way, at what point do we say, oh, yeah, never mind. We changed your mind. That was funny last night, Jim. Never. That, like, when, I I believe... walked out, when I walked out and said to Garrett and I crawled into the booth and I said, dude, they fucking wanted a bit and this thing just turned and seems very real. I do not want to do this. What the That's fuck should I do, said. Drew? You then Drew it, said I'll to me, it's today. between you and them. And I said, dude, today. I don't want to beef. But if this is good radio, I'll keep it up. And Garrett said, this is great. 
All right. Keep trying to talk. Keep, keep trying to talk past how awful you were yesterday. Garrett literally laughed today during an award. You know me because you're fucking Mo from The Simpsons who cries about trolls. You moron. Grow yeah, up, you're a 65 year old man who has nothing except so for a God, show based Garrett, on Anthony Kumia's legend. You're fucking nothing. Hey, I resent that. As someone, hey, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Guys, time out, time out. Time out. Oh, the fucking phone. All right, everyone gets muted. All right, enjoy that free God ride. Damn it, Jim. All right, Jim. I just want to respond God. to one thing. You have to be yes, more dude. clear when Gino and I are both here. Which one are you talking about when you say the guy doing a show based off Anthony Cumia's legend? <laughs> Jim, it's not that. Good, good one, Eric. Oh, okay, so guys, I found the, the Jim uh, tweet here uh, from December 5th. It says, things could get beefy tonight on Wet Spot. By beefy, I mean there will be cocks, and it's a picture of Ski Mask's mask. Now, Jim, no offense, that yeah. means that proves nothing. What did Ski Mask tell you on your show earlier? He's, that I showed him my phone and said, I want to start a beef. And he said he didn't said want that. none of it. Never said okay. that. Okay, well, that's what Aaron we'll just said. Okay. Now. But, Jim, this isn't we'll proof of that. This isn't proof of that, though. Right. It doesn't prove anyone agreed to no. something. Yeah. No, Thank it you. proves that he's lying, that there was no discussion prior. This is not proof that there's no discussion, that there was a discussion prior. It's literally a picture. It's a picture I of a winter him my mask. Phone to start a beef. Every time I get to the part of what he did, actually, I've been talked over the whole time, so it's, it's understood why it's not getting out. What's that, hon? What's that, hon? Yeah, I know. You don't want the point out. You don't want the point out. How about you ruin another compound? Oh, by talking mm -hmm. to people. Well, fuck that. Yep. Jim's, Jim, okay. doesn't, Jim doesn't want to... Jim doesn't want to ruin a... Jim doesn't want to ruin a compound show. He wants to go outside a compound and ruin another show. That's bullshit. Right. He, he wants to All talk right. about talking over shows. Shut the fuck up. All right, Jim, Ski Mask, mm -hmm. I'm going to let... the whole show last night. All right. I had to travel to the city to after working for fucking 12 hours. You fucking faggot. Okay, let's take it easy on the gay efforts. It is YouTube, ever. All right. G uh, ski mask uh, and uh, and Jim, Bef I'm gonna, le I'm gonna go, let you before I go. go. All right, can you uh, look? I, I made you this video that'll really show you the kind of character ski mask is and why we had any beef at all. I, I think you'll enjoy it. I really I, do. I I, that's all I'm saying. You don't I, have to, but I'm just saying it's very to, short, Jim, and I think you'll enjoy it. Jim, I'm going to politely disagree with you. I don't think it's gonna right. make me give a flying fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not to make you give a fuck. It's funny, you fucking dolt hard. Thank you, Jim. Take it easy. You're wow, welcome. Way to, way to disrespect the host again. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, I haven't uh, been disrespected guys, here. Guys, I, have to, I, I have to hold some court because you're all kings and gods. Guys, no, just me. Again, um, oh, I you're just, the god. You're not a dog. You're a rat, Gino. All right, and you're listen. being played by Kevin listen. Brennan's boys, you crying little bitch. Listen. And Compound right. Media allows people to threaten assault on their fucking shows and then cries like sensitive little lefty cucks when they fucking respond with hostility. All right, Jim, bitch. I'm... Jim, I'm going to end with Please. this. No, 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 Jim, Jim, go, Jim, go. I want to end with this. Going, it will going. be Ski Mask. Hold on. Jim, I'm going to end our conversation with this. This is the first time it's ever been uttered, and you're the one who's making someone utter it for the first time. I'm going to leave Gino on the line so we can get back to some sanity. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, buddy. All right. Thank you, Ski Mask. All right, Gino, they're gone. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> I was sitting here about to go to bed, and then I, I'm listening to you go, hey, we're going to bring up the Bob News story, Bob Levy story. I'm like, oh, this ought to be good. And like, he wants to kick my ass. I don't even know what's going on. And then I'm listening, losing my mind, laughing at all this idiocy, and I'm texting you. And I'm like, I'm not calling in. I'm not calling in. I'm like, okay, call me. Call me. Because when he goes, so I, so I says, should I come in as a five or an eight? Are you retarded? Well, what, what is that? I think what I – look – I think what I'm going to have to do first is change the locks. Um, <laughs> that's probably number one. Uh, number, Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, all due respect to Jim, maybe I just don't understand his brilliance. Maybe he is Andy Kaufman. I don't know. Uh, but I, I, don't, I, I, I don't understand what he's I, trying I to say. I will say this. And if you were watching Hot Water, today was a, was a fun one. It was me, Stancil, and Kevin Nebrowski. So it was just complete idiocy. But we were watching Wet Spot last night, me, me and Keanu. She sends her love, you too. And, and we're watching, and then all of a sudden he starts screaming. We're like, what did we fucking miss? We literally had to rewind it 10 minutes to try and figure out what was going on. And the best, and all I can say is, like, 
Is he doing a bit? Because whatever he's doing, the guy gets 50 hits on his podcast. And, and I don't mean that uh, it's a shitty podcast because he's just starting doing what you want. But if you have 50 hits on your podcast and you're screaming at Christy Mayer, it will get more hits, you know, than most of us do, you know, across the board, across, excuse me, April, across with a T, then, then that's just disrespectful. Pipe down, shut up and say thank you. Okay. And, and we brought that up and then, then it led to this. Stuff. And at one point, I'm not kidding, Garrett, you can watch it on the show today. Garrett goes, uh, at one point he came in the booth and said, this bit is killing. Should I, should I turn it up to an eight or something? And we lost our mind. And me and me, Kevin and, uh, and Stan will all tried to run into the booth to do the same thing like eighth grade girls. It was stupid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. I, I do want to uh, plug uh, Jim's uh, YouTube show, the, FG, the FGTZ channel. Uh, I did put it up at the beginning of that. I think it's only fair. Uh, I Go ahead and uh, click the link. Uh, Luck of the Bind, if you want to put a link in there, please do. Gino, Luke, it's Luke. Gino it's Luke. I, I want to say Luke. something. Jim actually walked April. I've never seen that in the history of the show. Jim walked April. She left in the middle of all that. So Maybe she, maybe she went to get her crossbow for everyone's safety. <laughs> so... Uh, enough, enough of the gym thing. That was wild. And that, I mean, obviously you can see how pissed off ski mask was. He clearly wasn't in on any kind of a bit, but, yeah. uh, it, it, that, that whole thing. All right. We can put the wet spot thing to bed. Why is it that all of my, uh, my new friends that I've made through doing this show, uh, all seem to have some kind of fucking problem with each other. <laughs> I, I have no idea what goes on. My my beef has always been like, and I, I look. You can watch in hot water. I highly recommend it. It's fun. We have. I haven't mentioned those guys at all. The only thing I said at some point was like, Levy has all these great shows. I've never said anything other than I owe so much to Bob Levy. That's why it breaks my heart when he sits there at the desk. And, and, and I never banned Bob from my show. I said, Bob, you can see the text messages, messages. I said, I'm like, Bob, I love you. Uh, you've been great to me. But please don't come by my show because I'll always let you on. And it doesn't serve me well. I worked so hard to get this desk for a guy to come on, joke around with me, and then 10 minutes later sit at the same desk in the same mic and, and watch as this crazy Brennan guy bad to me. It's just a bad look for me. And he was fine with that. But I think it's getting to him that when fucking Kevin Brennan shits on everyone, including Chrissy Mayer, when she's supposed to headline his club, Bob just has to be quiet and he's getting mad at me for calling him out. I might have called him Silent Bob. But if that's enough for him to want to beat me up, Gino, I, 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 Gino, I can't be bothered. Gino, you're the king of not de-escalating, though. I mean, well, Silent oh. Bob, you're right, is not bad enough for him to beat you up. But like I don't know, like you, you haven't been hard on Bob. I wouldn't say, but you haven't exactly been deferential to Bob. And I think it just kind of wears on him. And you combine that with not having a cigarette. I, I think that kind of he's I, smoking again. I know because I watch his show. Levy Land is a good show. Yes, I watch Misery Loves Company. I laugh when he call, says Bonely fans. I watch all these shows, so I know he's smoking, and I, I, I don't get. I, I, I defy anyone to find a clip of me, not just saying that, that fucking uh, Kevin Brenner and Bob Levy aren't hilarious, me saying they're not because I always say they are. I don't, I'm allowed to say I think Bob is fucking sitting silently by while Kevin Brennan loses his mind with negativity All and right. lies. I'm allowed Fair to enough. say that. You are, you are absolutely allowed to say that, but then in the same vein, is Bob not allowed to say I want to fucking choke Gino? He's allowed to say that all he fucking wants. Yes. But but that's a bit that's a bit fucking uh that that's that's coming in as a four coming in at a four, <laughs> as my friend Jim would say, and going out at an eleven. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope everything goes well Thursday. I hope you and Bob don't end up having fucking as uh, as uh Ron Bennington once said, AARP boxing. Uh I, I, I hope it I hope it doesn't come to that. I, I like both of you very much. Uh, and I, yeah. I hope this whole thing gets settled. But I, 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 would, I would ask this. Uh, is there any way 
that maybe we could maybe uh, lay off of uh, Bob. Well, I guess I can't ask you to lay off Bob and Kevin if they're not going to lay off. See, that's what it is. This is Israel and Palestine. Nobody's going to let up because they know the other one's going to bomb the shit out of them. So I guess there's really no way to, to navigate. Why am I trying to navigate this fucking thing? You guys are twice as old as I am. Figure it the fuck out. Three guns. Hey, watch in hot water. They're never mentioned on in hot water. That's I'm, I'm still space. on. I'm still on yesterday's Kumia show, so I have a lot of catch up to do. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's taking me longer to get through because you're on it. Uh, I know. I tend to muddy the waters. <laughs> yes. uh, is there any chance of you and Tubby uh, patching things up? No, he's insane. Be careful with him. Keep the crossbow handy. Well, look, Tubby's in the chat right now, and uh, he's saying that Gino is by far Jim's best character. Uh, <laughs> you know, it is an 11, it is an 11, um, yeah. but, uh, oh boy, I, you know, I'm, be careful what you wish for, I guess, with this gym thing, because I think I might have bit off more than I could chew tonight. Uh, he's a, he's a method actor, apparently. I, you know what, I, I'll be honest, I was trying to be fair, but as the judge in the case here, I wasn't seeing any evidence that was showing me that last night was anything other than a nightmare meltdown trying to be explained away. Yeah, I think the phone broke up. I said meth head actor. Oh, no, that's not. I don't think that's an accusation, boys and girls. By the way, thanks for the uh, sly little steel toe drop to the boss there yesterday. Atta boy. Oh, I think we, we take care of our own, Aaron. You yeah. know that. Atta boy. Yeah. Fuck you, Bob Lee. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Uh, I, I got to go. I want uh, you and Bob to exchange Christmas gifts. I want you and Kevin to open mouth kiss. And uh, I, I want uh, I want you to stay far away from Jim. Done and done. Right. Great show, buddy. Thanks for having me on, man. Oh, thanks a lot. I have no hair. I'm going to have to start wearing a headband now. <laughs> it's all the rage. All right. Talk, talk to you later, Gino. Late. All right. Gino Bisconti of In Hot Water on Compound Media. Fuck. Can April, can you come down here to wrap up the show? I think people would love to see you and love to, would love to get your take on what just happened here before we fully wrap things up. Where is, uh, where is April? Now, I did see the people in the chat. Uh, one person said, this is going to be the end of Compound Media. Horse shit, man. I, I renewed my subscription a while back. I don't know if it's ever been better. I love this kind of shit, man. I love this kind of stuff. Wet Spot was appointment television. Uh, Gino's show, Anthony's show. Oh, my God. Um, April, your thoughts. Uh, that, that I told Gino that's the first time anyone's ever walked April from this show. Oh, Jim, a little bit too much for you? Madness. Oh, my God. People liked it. Oh, it's fine. I just, the dog had to be let out. I laughed and started choking on something. So I was like, ah, fuck it. They're all just yelling at each other. They don't need me. Uh, I, I, yeah, they, well, they didn't even need me. Well, right. Why am I sitting here in a half hour past the show and, I, you know, I can't even get a word in? I will so. say that when Jim started off, um, I really, I wrote, you saw me work. I was writing to Ski Mask. I was like, would you jump in here, please? No, like, I saw that. This is kind of boring. He's, no, that's not what you said. He said, this is fucking brutal. Uh, brutal. Okay, he fair enough. Brutal. fucking brutal. I, I mean, I was grabbing Ski Mask. I was grabbing Gino. I mean, I, I was like, I need someone to make this thing go. I, I Look, all due respect to Jim. I don't want to start a fucking podcast war. People are saying Jim should be a new lol cow of ours. I think we should mm. tread lightly with Jim. I don't think that's... I, I, I don't, don't think he's lol cow material. And, and also, I don't think Jim... I don't know about Jim. Something something going on there with I Jim. I know I like Ski Mask, and I know I like Gino. <laughs> and I, I, look, I like I Jim mean, Stancil, too. I mean, Jim Stancil... Stancil's fine. I can see why a lot of people wouldn't like him. He's a dirty little shit stirrer with a little smirk on his face. I like that Aren't kind of shit. All? I like that kind of thing. There's a reason uh, why I, I'm friends with Gino. Gino is a little shit stirrer. I like that. Uh, he seems like a fun guy. I He's get. Sweet. I get why he rubs so many of our new friends the wrong way. I do. I get it. But I like the guy. Mm -hmm. I, again, I, like I've said, we are people who go... I like the guy. I'm not telling you to like the guy. Feel however you want about the guy. But uh, I, I disagree with whoever said this is the end of Compound. I don't think it's ever been more fun what? to listen to. This can't like, be the end April, of Compound. April goes out hunting, and she's <laughs> like, you got to put the Compound app on my phone. I have to listen to these fucking shows every day. Not so, while I'm hunting, of course. On the, on way, the drive, Yeah, though. to, and, to yes. and from. So April's got the... Uh, 
No, they're they're oh, fun. That was that they're was They're all wild. fun. That was getting a bit exhausting for me. I am fine listening to it, but Rob Saul, uh Rob Saul from uh, Bob Levy's show. I like Rob. Correct. I like Rob a Very lot too. Nice guy. Rob does not like Gino. Uh Gino had some terse things to say about Rob. Again, I like Rob. I like Chris. I like all those guys. They can all fight with whoever they want. A lot of hating um, going around. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> he loves her, but she loves this guy right here, and she, he loves somebody else. I, I can't keep up, but uh, I, I love it. I, I think it's all great. It's all entertainment. Um, a lot of people stuck around late with us tonight, I and will, I do appreciate it. I will say I don't think that helped anything. I don't think anyone figured out anything tonight. No, I got to have um, a fight on my channel. That's what happened. Yeah, that was a just a fight on the channel. 